Music is all I think about. I was born to play. It's my reason for living. What the... This weed, the council. There's a soul missing. Okay, I, I want to know the process of going in and saying, I'm going to make a movie about the soul. <laughs> who, <laughs> who went in and started the initial process? And I mean, that's a concept to try to visualize. Yeah. Uh, I think, though, what was attractive to people when I pitched it was the idea that, hey, wait a minute, this is something that on one level or another we've all thought about. Like, where did I come from? Not me, the flesh and blood and, you know, a man and a woman get together thing. But, like, where did I come from as a person with these specific personality attributes and interests? How did that happen? And so that, I think, was something pretty universal that uh, 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 got everybody's brain going. In terms of like animation process, because when you say that, oh, oh, you know, I want to talk about the soul, I want to visualize the soul, what was that process? That was uh, one of the first intriguing things. I will, I will say, like a lot of times when I'm starting these, it it starts from my animator brain going monsters. Yeah, I want to animate monsters or uh, emotions. Oh, yeah, I could see like how do we visualize happiness or or fear or whatever that uh, and that was the same here is just souls being ethereal, non physical. Like how are we going to do that? That seems really challenging and therefore fun. <laughs> and who's the jazz lover? Are all of you the jazz lover? <laughs> well, yeah. Dana's a more I recent am now. I, I was definitely, right. I, I was, it took me longer. They, they both came in major lovers and now I'm dabbing in it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it kind of inspires audiences to be like, I got to get into jazz, you know? Yeah. Just like, <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty explicit. Like on uh, John Batiste, who did all the jazz for us on the film, he said, I want to make this user-friendly jazz. I want to make it so that, you know, like I grew up on uh, the Peanuts cartoons and it was Vince Guaraldi, you know, doing all that great jazz music that I never even thought of as jazz. It was just great music that I love. And I'm hoping that this film will maybe bring a new generation of jazz lovers out into the world. Joe's cell phone ringtone is my favorite jazz song of all time. Charles Mingus, Asian fight song. Cool. That's awesome. Okay, and I'm sure because the movie's about purpose, um, you all kind of reconsidered or rethought about your purpose and kind of the purpose that you're doing in your life. When was it that the triggering moment that you wanted to be um, script writers, that you wanted to, to go into the film industry? Um, what was kind of that purpose? I know that's kind of a grand concept, but I'm sure, you know, even doing this journey of this movie, you're thinking about it again. Pete, do you want to start? Oh, sure. Um, I guess I, I grew up like figuring what I really wanted to do is animate. So I was picturing myself at a desk drawing, you know, Mickey Mouse on paper, and that was going to be what I was doing. And so uh, instead of going to Disney, ending up at Pixar and, and then directing, all of this has been like a discovery and a journey. And it, it, it's all been along the same lines. So I know I loved animation, but it wasn't like I set out with this explicit goal of someday I'm going to direct a movie about the soul or whatever. It was all like, what you know, letting life lead me. Yeah. I mean, one of the interesting things about the film industry is it does a really great job of making you feel like you don't belong in it. So I... <laughs> I think that for me, it's always on a case by case. Like I, I still don't know. I, I'm, I'm having. A, I had a great time making this film, and it's it. And Hollywood has this way of just like, and okay, now what have you done for us today? So, so I, I don't. I can't really answer the question because I don't really. I still don't really know if I belong um, in in this business. I just. I always want to just tell a great story. Um, in whatever medium that happens to to be in and work with good collaborators. So whether that's in this business or not, that's what I'm always going to be doing. Yeah, I feel like um, I agree with you, Kemp. It's like it's all about the project and you 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 get so much joy out of making this one project. And then you're like, now what? Now what's next? And it's you start all that pain all over again. <laughs> <laughs> out on the joys of life <laughs> like uh, pizza i can't smell 
We can't... We can't taste either? All that stuff is in your body. No smell, no taste... Or touch. See? Okay, I get it. Disney and Pixar Soul.